I'm so excited. But they've got such an awesome hillside for us to be able to build our waterfalls into. We've got the house directly behind me. So prime viewing coming out of the back side of the house. I hope the customer is as excited as I am by looking at those stones because it's going to be awesome. We've got a beautiful selection of moss rock and weathered limestone. And I got a feeling, I got a really, really good feeling that that rock right there is going to be our first rock. We are going to get cranking building the waterfalls, which is my favorite ist thing to do except for make fun of Corey. that's pretty fun too i enjoy that what'd you say over there sweetheart huh I said that's number one <laughs> you're number one What is up everybody out there? Chris at Team Aquascape. As you can tell by the truck behind me, we are going to have an incredible project today. Today is a pondless waterfall, brand new construction. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. We have a Cat 305 that just got delivered. We've got the truck from Illinois Brick right behind me with about 15 tons of stone, a mix of moss rock and weathered limestone on this project. We have incredible access because it's gonna be very, very easy to get all the rock right back up to the job site. I just pulled up. These guys beat me here, I hope the customer is as excited as I am by looking at those stones because it's gonna be awesome. So first things first, I'm gonna go up and meet the homeowners. I promise I'll be right back. So here's our canvas for the day. They've got such an awesome hillside for us to be able to build our waterfalls into. We've got the house directly behind me. So prime viewing coming out of the back side of the house. Reservoir right here. Waterfalls is gonna start way back up where that grass is. We'll pull out all of the existing landscape, softscape on this side, pull it off to the side, get it over in some shade so we have a nice clean palette to work with. I know we have to bring out another step. We're gonna pull these two out in order to get the machine in, but we're gonna put those back. Then we're gonna continue that stepper pathway up there and we'll try and incorporate the water feature so it looks like the steps were built around it. We'll pull back all these cobbles in through here, mark out where our reservoir is going to go, go ahead and get that in and then start carving our little ledges and shelves into that hillside so that we can start setting our waterfalls. Looks like we've got electric right over there which is perfect because it's about an eight foot run to the back side of the reservoir so the pump and everything's going to sit in the pump vault over here, go up over there. We have one of the SLD five to nine thousand pumps on this which is one of our new variable speed solids handling pumps. We've got a three inch line. Yes, folks, three inch line. So we can maximize the volume of that pump to kick up all that water up to the waterfalls and really create a lot of visual interest as well as a lot of audible interest by having all that water pushing over some of these beautiful chunks of weather limestone and moss rock. So can't wait to get started. Let's get rolling. The outline. sweet. Look at that, folks. The reservoir is in. We've got all nine large aqua blocks and our pump vault on this near corner here installed. We've got fabric, liner, fabric, then our aqua blocks. We are going to run the plumbing out this side and come up the back of the hill and probably go around that tree up to where the waterfalls is going to start with the spillways. So now with that being done, we've got Corey over here staying ahead of the game, getting all the cages off of all the pallets. We've got a beautiful selection of moss rock and weathered limestone. As as we've said in videos in the past, the first rock is always the most important because it sets the tone, it sets the stage for the rest of the day. And I got a feeling, I got a really, really good feeling that that rock right there is going to be our first rock and really set off that bottom waterfalls over there. It is one, two, three, and a half feet tall, which should get us basically to where that liner stops right there if we set it right on top of the aqua box. So to me, that's about a hip high rock and I can just picture it anchoring a huge tall veil style waterfalls. Maybe we'll even split it around it. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but I think that rock right there is going to be our first one. It could be a good decision or it could be the worst decision of the day. However, we're totally prepared to adapt on the fly and overcome any obstacles that we have. We have an enormous amount of rock to choose from so the world is our oyster today it's a beautiful day we're praying that it doesn't rain on us and we are going to get cranking building waterfalls which is my favorite ist thing to do except for make fun of Corey. that's pretty fun too i enjoy that what'd you say over there sweetheart huh I said that's number one <laughs> you're number one
There it is. I think it's a little bit taller than I anticipated, but we're gonna see what happens here. So we put the rock in there, pulled it back out, and then folded that liner back, and we ended up excavating probably a good two and a half feet back further into the hillside. The rock was just too tall and too far forward. We didn't leave ourselves enough real estate on top of the reservoir to get some smaller rock. And when I say small, I still mean big, but rock not nearly as tall as that guy. So I think we've got it licked. We're gonna fold this fabric and liner and fabric back, and then go ahead and get that frame rock in so we can keep rolling. Let me show you this. So we are a little blue dot right there. There's a little white circle and that's the weather right now. There's the weather for the future. So we've got rain for probably the next 120 minutes and it says thunderstorms in the area for the afternoon through late tonight. So I would say our percentage of rain is high. So show you what we're doing to help prevent that. So we've got a 15 by 20 piece of liner left. We've got a bunch of spoils that we threw up top there. We're just going to cover everything, cover the whole site. We've got probably Probably three, four tons of rock set. I'd say not even, probably three tons. Got the reservoir in. We've got a heck of a lot of rock left, but it's been kind of slow going today, and it's probably going to be an early end to our day. So we're gonna get this thing buttoned up and fingers crossed we don't get it too bad today, but looks like we're gonna have to knock off a little earlier than we anticipated. So unfortunately it is what it is, and Mother Nature's throwing us a curveball. But 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 tomorrow we are going to come back strong and out of the gates swinging. So so I think we're gonna cut it there for the day and get back at it hard tomorrow, okay? day two everybody and the sun is shining behind us shining down on us whatever you want to say it did rain last night pretty significantly filled up our basin or overfilled our basin excuse me but we were able to cover up all that dirt on the hillside so that really really helps us not be slopping around in the muddy mess today so we've got a couple extra bodies we've got matt and matt out here to help us so that is going to be a huge huge asset to us as far as making progress today we're gonna see if we can get this thing done today but i don't know I don't know, we'll see how the rocks go together, how much progress we can make. But Juan and Corey back here are already strapping up the first rock that is going to go right over here. It's going to be our spill rock coming off of this one, right there. Yeah, there it is, right there. That's gonna be our next waterfalls that we're gonna set. It'll be the same elevation as the height of that waterfall right there. So big, long, wide waterfall there will be at the same elevation, so we'll get water to come down there as well to come down here and then double back on itself and come off of that rock. So that's where we're gonna start today. These guys are working on the plumbing, getting the pump hooked up. We are going to make a bunch of progress today and I'm excited and it's good to have that face, that guy, leafy head back there, and then these two clowns with us again today. So let's get going. serious progress since I last checked in with you. We are about to set either the biggest or the second biggest rock on the project next to that one. I'm not sure which one weighs more, but this one is going to be a foundation stone for us to start that stepper pathway that goes back up the hill. We are buttoning things up as we go. We've got a lot of our wing walls in right here. You can see Matt's working on edges over there. The other Matt's up there foaming the other, the top couple waterfalls. It is looking incredible. We're making great progress. It's getting late in the day. We are going to try and do the final push and get this thing wrapped up tonight. So again, fingers crossed, hopefully nothing goes wrong. I I know we're gonna have a lot of cleanup here. We may have to send a couple guys back tomorrow to do that, but we are gonna give it the old college try and try and make the push. So wish us luck on this next rock, and that's really gonna set the tone for everything else after this. Didn't do it, didn't 
couldn't make it happen. We got super stupid close, and that's where we're gonna wrap day two. I think Brian and I are gonna come out here tomorrow and finish up. Bottom couple of steps down in here. We couldn't set them because this machine had to get all the way up there in order to place all that stuff up there. We got a little bit of grading to do, but the edges are basically done all along that side. Most of it is done along that side, except for that little section in there. We've got a couple lights to add and a ton of cleanup to do, but you remember that row of pallets. I think we had 12 pallets of stone, and I would say we have probably three left, if that. We got all the big guys set, except for that one right there, and we're down to the last dozen or so rocks, all the small little chunks that we'll probably just pepper into the landscape as we get out of here, because we don't want to take that back with us. But that's where we're at. Didn't quite work today, but we are definitely going to wrap it tomorrow. So we'll see you then.